In this video, I'm going to show you a couple ways on how to unnest nested sequences in Premiere Pro. I'll start with something simple and move on to some more complex examples. If you're looking to nest a sequence, all you have to do is highlight the clips that you want to nest, right click, and go to nest. You can rename your nested sequence whatever you want. And in order to access anything within that nested sequence, let me double click. And now these clips are in what is like a little subsequence inside my main timeline right here. Now the obvious easiest way to unnest this if you've just nested it is to hit Command Z on Mac or Control Z on Windows. But this tutorial is about what if that isn't a choice for you. Let's say I want to nest all of these clips right here. Now, unfortunately, since there isn't a unnest feature within Premiere Pro, let me show you a couple ways that I would go about getting those clips back to the timeline. The first being double clicking on the nest, highlighting these clips, click and drag them over to the sequence and you can click and drag them back onto the timeline. Now let me add just a couple more layers to this nested sequence to showcase another way that may be easier to click and drag it into your main sequence. I could do that same technique of highlighting everything, bringing it over the top of my main sequence and clicking and dragging this way. Or what may be even faster is right clicking the nested sequence, do reveal in project, and I can actually click and drag the nested sequence to my timeline. At first, it will just look like the nested sequence, which is not what we want. Let me undo that. The icon that you need to pay attention to when doing this is right here underneath the timecode. Insert and overwrite sequences as nests or individual clips. If I deselect this, click and drag that nested sequence on, boom. Look at that. It's so cool that you can bring in your sequences as clips of that sequence, not as a nested sequence. So those are really easy examples. Let me start getting a little bit more complex. First of all, what if we applied some effects to our nested sequence and we wanted those to stay on the clips when we brought them back into the main timeline? Well, here's how you would do it. To keep things simple for this first example, I'm going to delete the layers that I had here, and let's just treat this as one simple nested sequence with one video layer. I'll go back to my main sequence, and maybe I'll create a cut right here and a cut right here and add a black and white effect to this middle section, as well as some cross dissolves in between these two cuts. If you're looking to bring back the clips on this nested sequence and maintain all of those edits, in this specific situation with everything on just one track, here's how you could do it. You highlight the nested sequence, right click, go to multi-camera, enable, and then right click, go to multi-camera, flatten. Notice that it has maintained my cross dissolves and the cuts as well as the black and white effect on my clips. The reason this works is because we're treating the nested sequence as a multi-camera sequence. So it worked because everything was on track one. Let me get a little bit more complex and bring back that adjustment layer that had the creative LUT applied to it on track two. And to make things even more like a real life situation, let me trim down my nested sequence here in my main timeline. Let's say I want this little middle section to be black and white, and I'm also going to apply those same cross dissolves. So to reiterate, in this situation, I have effects on my nested sequence. I've cut up and trimmed this nested sequence within my main timeline. So my nested sequence is much longer, as well as my nested sequence also has multiple video layers. In order to bring these back onto the timeline, that method of deselecting this, clicking and dragging and bringing it onto the timeline, it's not gonna work. So what we need to do is look at our nested sequence, see how many video layers we have. I have two, the adjustment layer and my video clips. So on my main timeline, I'm going to treat this like a multi-cam sequence and provide two video layers that I can flatten. So I'm going to take my first layer right here, hold Option on Mac or Alt on Windows, click and drag so I can duplicate these clips on the bottom to the top and I want to replicate the hierarchy of this nested sequence v1 and v2 that's going to make more sense right here when I go to the track one I'm going to right click go to multi-camera enable and then I will right click go to multi-camera and make sure that it's camera one because camera one in this case equals 
track one or V1 right here. So on my main sequence, when I go to right click it, I'm going to multi-camera and make sure that it's camera one, hit flatten. Now on the second layer, I'm going to highlight them, right click, multi-camera, enable, right click, multi-camera, and make sure that it is camera two because these are the clips that are supposed to be on track two. So multi-camera, camera two, right click, multi-camera, flatten. Now we've maintained this black and white effect on the clips that were originally on the nested clip and we've brought over all of the clips from our nested sequence intact and we didn't have to do any finessing or editing. That is probably the easiest way in this more complex situation to unnest a nested sequence that has multiple layers of video clips. If this video was helpful, don't forget to leave that thumbs up. I know this is a easy subject of just unnesting clips and probably a lot of people know this, but the technique of turning it into a multicam and then flattening those multicam layers may not be something that some people think about. Hopefully that was helpful. Until next time, my name is Javier Mercedes, and I hope you're out there living a life.